Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. And in this tutorial, I use the On The Go palette um, that I got inside of my BoxyCharm this month. And I really, really like how it came out. It is definitely a fall look. It went a little bit easy on the eyes with a bold lip. I love how it turned out. So if you want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so we are up close, and the first thing that I like to do is start with my eyebrows. So I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Brow Pencil in the color Blonde. So I'm just going to brush through. my eyebrows then I take this and just kind of outline them and shape them after I finish with that I'm just gonna take these brow gels and this is one that I got off eBay and then this is the Ulta one they're both different colors because I kind of like to have like a gradient effect and after I fill them in they get like kind of dark. So I'm going to put the lighter color on the front of my eyebrow. Then I'm going to take the darker color and this is going to go on the very end of my eyebrow. And I just do it really lightly. And I'm going to let them dry. So after this, I'm going to take my NARS concealer. And I'm going to put it on a very tiny, tiny brush. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of clean up my eyebrows. And I just go right under my brow. So after that, I take a little bit of a bigger brush. And then I just kind of blend it out. So now I'm going to put on eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Ulta one. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And I use my beauty blender to blend it out. So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder. And this is what I'm going to use to bake today. And everywhere that I want to bake. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eye makeup. And today I'm actually going to be using tape. This is a really good beginner's tip if you guys aren't good at eyeliner. Or I like to use it because it gives you that straight line with your eyeshadow. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my new... Um, on the go palette that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to go into this color right here and this is kind of going to go all over my lid as a base and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top of my eyebrow. This really helps to set your um, eye primer. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into this metal color right here. This is going to be my transition color. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this color right here. And this has a little bit of shimmer in it, but 
I just want to use it to deepen the crease. So Now I'm going to take a very tiny brush and I'm going to use this color right here, which is a very dark maroon color. I think this is such a beautiful color, you guys. This is going to go on the corner of my eye. And I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, so now I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this color right here. And this is shimmery. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to use this color right here. This is going to go on the outer portion of my eye. Okay, so my memory card was full, so um, basically I took this color and put it trying to make like a little bit of an ombre effect. I'm going to work on highlighting my brows going to take this light color right here what I love about these palettes is that you can literally make a whole entire look with just the palettes like on a slanted brush and I'm gonna highlight my brow the last thing I'm gonna do for my eyes is I'm gonna take that same color I highlighted my eyebrows with and I'm just going to put it in the very inner corner of my eyes So now I'm just going to remove the tape. I'm going to take this little brush and just brush away all of the powder that I have on my face. Okay, so I'm just going to do my eyeliner, but I'm going to do this off camera. You guys have seen me do this a million times already, so I'm just going to do it off camera. So I'm going to take this mascara that I got inside of my BoxyCharm this month and I have no idea how to pronounce the name so I'll put it right here um, but I really like it the brush is really really nice I love it a lot so I'm just gonna do my lashes I like to look down because it helps to prevent the mascara from getting on your eyeshadow. I decided I wasn't done with my eyes. So I'm going to take like a really tiny, tiny brush and I'm going to go back into this color right here. And this is kind of going to go on my bottom lash line to act as like a lower liner to kind of tie everything together. So I'm going to take a little blending brush and just blend out the bottom line. So now I'm finished with the eyes and I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild um, Contour Kit. I really, really like this because for pale skin like me, it's really hard to find a bronzer shade that doesn't make you look like dirty, you know what I mean? So this is really, really light, so I like it a lot. I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm just going to dip it into the bronzer. So I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and blend it out. I like to take my beauty blender and dip it into the lighter color. And this is kind of what I'm going to use to like cover up and illuminate since I'm not wearing any foundation or anything like that today. So gonna put on my nose and up here and right here 
and on my chin. And I'm using this with a wet beauty blender. Take a brush and kind of blend everything out. And now I'm gonna highlight. What I'm gonna do first is use this little stick highlighter that I got that really isn't the best quality, but I like to use it before I put on actual highlight to um, make it like kind of as a base. I'm gonna be using a vintage highlighter in the color rose gold. I can open it. This is what it looks like. I really like this. I got it in my um, boxy charm this month, and it is bomb. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lips, and I'm going to take this purple-ish lip liner that I got. I'm going in with my purple lip liner from Ulta, since my look today is purple-ish. Oh. Next, I'm going to be taking my Starlux liquid lipstick that I got in my Boxy Charm, I think, last month. I'm just going to put this all over my lips. Okay, so this is the completed makeup look. So, yeah. Alright, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you recreate the look, please send me pictures. Um, if you got this palette in your BoxyCharm this month, let me know how you like it. I love the On The Go palettes. They are definitely worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And, yeah, so I guess I will just see you guys in my next video. So I'm gonna The theme for this month is Groovy Town. Really cute, really cute. Okay, I'm not gonna read.